Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is November 24, 2021, and we celebrate the memorial of St. Andrew Dunlac, priest, and companions, martyrs. The Gospel said, You will be hated by all because of my name. But not a hair on your head will be destroyed. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first. The first reading is from the book of Daniel. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his lords. With whom he drank. Under the influence of the wine. He ordered the gold and silver vessels which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem, to be brought in so that the king, his lords, his wives and his entertainers might drink from them. When the gold and silver vessels, taken from the house of God in Jerusalem had been brought in, and while the king, his lords, his wives and his entertainers, were drinking wine from them, they praised their gods of gold and silver, bronze and iron, wood and stone, Suddenly, opposite the lampstand, the fingers of a human hand appeared, writing on the plaster of the wall in the king's palace. When the king saw the wrist and hand that wrote, his face blanched. His thoughts terrified him, his hip joints shook, and his knees knocked. Then Daniel was brought into the presence of the king. The king asked him, Are you the Daniel, the Jewish exile, whom my father, the king, brought from Judah? I have heard that the Spirit of God is in you, that you possess brilliant knowledge and extraordinary wisdom. I have heard that you can interpret dreams and solve difficulties. If you are able to read the writing and tell me what it means, you shall be clothed in purple, wear a gold collar about your neck, and be third in the government of the kingdom. Daniel answered the king, You may keep your gifts or give your presents to someone else. But the writing I will read for you, O king and tell you what it means. You have rebelled against the Lord of heaven. You had the vessels of his temple brought before you, so that you and your nobles, your wives and your entertainers, might drink wine from them. And you praise the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone, that neither see nor hear nor have intelligence, but the God in whose hand is your life breath, and the whole course of your life, you did not glorify. By him were the wrist and hand sent, and the writing set down. This is the writing that was inscribed. Mene, Tekel, and Perez. These words mean. Mene, God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Tekel, you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Perez, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Responsorial Psalm. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sun and moon, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you weans, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Fire and heat, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Cold and chill, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Luke Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you, they will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance you will secure your lives. Reflections Anyone who wants to follow Christ must be ready to face persecution from friends, 
family members, acquaintances, and even fellow parishioners. This is because, to truly follow Christ, especially in a society where vice is quickly becoming the norm, one must be prepared to swim against the current. People are not usually comfortable around one who thinks and acts differently, when such actions prick their conscience. This is the lot of the Christian who wants to maintain the truth even when everyone else holds on to lies, who wants to be financially transparent even when others expect him or her to loot and give them a share, who wants to remain pure in word and deed even when so-called friends consider these things out of fashion. Though persecuted, the Christian should remember the words of Christ, stand firm, and you will win life. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.